Hi, in this video we are going to talk about environment of business firm and the types or kinds of business. And as we go along, we will be able to understand what business is, the relationship between business and environment, and also we are going to understand the importance between uh, or the importance of business environment and also the factors or elements affecting business organization and the types or kinds of businesses. The changing needs of customers and new innovations in the market are part of business environment. The challenge of businesses in the technological era is not to enter in the market but to survive in the market. To survive in the market means to adapt to the changes as fast as possible and to adapt the changes means to be aware of business environment. Now let's talk about business. What is business? According to Barrett O. Wheeler, business is an institution organized and operated to provide goods and services to the society under incentive of private gain. It, it is also defined as a human activity carried out by unified efforts of different categories of people to produce the wealth through production and distribution of goods and services. Now, what is environment in terms of business? Environment is the birth, growth, and continuous development of organization are influenced by wide range of variables like employees, customers, suppliers, producers, competition, etc. Now let's talk about business environment. What is business environment? Business environment refers to those aspects of surroundings of business enterprise which affect or influence its operations and determine its effectiveness. Business environment may be defined as the total surroundings which have a direct or indirect bearing on the functioning of business. And according to Keith Davis, business environment is the aggregate of all conditions, events, and influence that surrounds and affect it. Business environment may also be defined as the set of external factors such as economic factors, social factors, political and legal factors, demographic factors, technical factors, etc which are uncontrollable in nature and affect the business decision of a firm. It also includes the internal factors of a business like for example owners, employees, and their relation, the relationship with each other which can be controlled to some extent. Nature of business environment Business environment consists of external forces which affect the functioning of a business. First, nature is complex, second is interdependence, third is dynamic, fourth is uncertainty, the fifth is relativity, the sixth is specific and general forces, and the, the last one is forecasting is not possible for all developments. When we say complex, environment consists of number of factors, events, conditions arising from different sources which impact business, thus making the business complex. And if we say interdependence, this is a factor affecting business environment like social, economic, legal, cultural, etc. are independent. Like for example, a rich country can make sufficient expenditure on the research and development. Dynamic. Business environment is dynamic as it keeps on changing in terms of technological improvement, changes in consumer preferences, entry of new competitors. Uncertainty. Business environment is largely uncertain as it is very difficult to predict future happenings. Relativity. Business environment is a relative concept as it differs from country to country and region to region. And next is specific and general forces. Specific forces affects individual enterprise directly and immediately, whereas general forces have impact on all business enterprises. And finally, 
forecasting is not possible for all developments. Many developments such as interest rate fluctuation, the rate of inflation, etc. are difficult to protect on long-term basis which makes difficult to maintain business environment. Now that's all for nature of business enterprise or business environment. Now let's go on objectives of business environment. It is generally believed that a business has a single objective, that is to make profit, but it cannot be the only objective of business. While pursuing the objective of earning profit, business units do keep the interest of their own uh, of their owners in view. However, a business unit cannot ignore the interest of its employees, customers, the community, as well as the interest of the society as a whole. There are actually five objectives of business environment. The first one is knowledge of information. Second is basis of decision. The third one is helpful in making policies. The fourth is technological planning. And finally, survive in business. Knowledge of information. Every business should be aware about the current environment of the business to change accordingly. As I have mentioned previously, to survive in the market means to adapt the change as fast as possible, and to adapt the changes means to be aware of business environment. The second objective is basis of decision. It contains all the information which needed for taking good decision. For example, if a business knows about its, com its competitors, suppliers, and customers, they take decision about price, purchase, salary, etc. And the third objective is helpful in making policies. For making good business policies, one needs to know and scan business through business environment. And then and the next or the fourth um, objective is technological planning. In today's environment, it is really important for the business houses to keep themselves changing accordingly to the technology uh, technological, technological uh, changes in the market para dili ma behind ang mga business. So we have, or as a, as a business, as a company, we need to adjust accordingly para makibagay sa environment. The good example for this um, object, objective is kaning mga store nga mugamit or mudawat o cash payment. So as of right now, as of now, kung nakabantay mo, uh, most customers are preferred or they are now using Gcash as a mode of payment. So from time to time, while magkadugay, um, customers or companies, business, magsige sila inno innovate para sa convenience sa business and convenience sa customer. And the last objective is survive in the business. Sometimes, industry may face recession. In such condition, only those business will survive who estimate this entire situation in advance through business or yeah through business environment study. There are two types of business environment. First, internal environment, second, external environment. Internal environment refers to factors existing within business firm. These factors are generally regarded as controllable factors because the company has control over these factors. These factors affecting or the factors affecting internal environment are as follows: financial resources, physical and human resources, objectives of business, work environment, corporate image, labor management relationship, and finally, technological capabilities. While external environment are divided into two parts, first is micro environment and second one is macro environment. Financial factors. Factors like financial policies, financial procedures, and capital structure are also important internal environment affecting business performance, strategies, and decisions. Next is physical and human resources. The characteristic of human resources like skill, quality, moral, commitment, etc. contribute to the strength and weakness of an organization. 
objective of business, the business domain of the company, direction of development, business policy, etc. are guided by the objectives of the company. Work environment. It is the organizational structure, company policies, extent of professionalism in management, etc. are important factors influencing business decisions. Corporate image and brand. The image of the company matters while rising finance, performing joint ventures, entering purchase or sales contract, etc. Labor management relationship. Factors like the amount of support that management enjoys from different le level of employees and other participants influence company decisions and their implementation. Last factor for internal environment is technological capabilities. This will determine a company's ability to innovate and compete. The second type of business environment is external environment. The external environment refers to the factors existing outside the business firm. The external, external factors are beyond the control of a company, hence its success depends on the adaptability of the environment. Again, external envi um, environment are, is divided into two parts. First is micro environment and the second one is macro environment when we say micro environment the factors are close to the company and affects its ability to work constitutes micro environment it is known as the operating environment of business when competing form in the industry have the same micro elements the, su the success of the firm depends on their relative effectiveness in dealing with these elements. The factors for microenvironment are the following. First, supplier. Second is customers. Third is competitors. Fourth is marketing intermediaries. And lastly is public. It is being said that suppliers are those who supply the inputs like raw material, and components to the company. Uncertainties regarding the supply constraint, the company to maintain high invest in inventories causing cost increase. While customers is the success of any business depends upon identifying customers, their needs, likes, etc. and enhancing the level of customer satisfaction. The major task of, of business of a business is to create and sustain customers. Next is competitors. Competitors man's other business units which are marketing or producing similar products or a very close substitute of our product. Business has to adjust its va uh, various activities according to the action and reaction of the competitors. And the next one is marketing intermediaries. These are, the, these, um, these are the firms that aid the company in promoting, selling, and distributing its goods to final buyers. They are the vital links between the company and final consumers. Finally, public. A public is any group that has actual or potential interest in or impact on an organization, uh, organization's ability to achieve its interest. Some companies are seriously affected by such public. Uh, for example, is media. Macro environment means general environment of business. Macro forces are uncontrolled in comparison to micro forces of environment. The growth and survival of business depends upon its adaptability to macro environmental factors. The important of macro environment are economic environment, non-economic environment. To know the economic environment of a country or a business one has to understand the economic policies of the nation. These policies put direct impact on the working and success of the business. Economic conditions, economic policies, industrial policies, monetary and fiscal policy etc and the economic system are the important factors that constitute economic environment of the business. 
Non-economic environment are the following. Socio-cultural environment. Legal environment. International environment. Political environment. Technological environment. Natural environment. Importance of business environment. 1. Enables to identify business opportunities. 2. Helps in tapping useful resources. 3. Coping with changes. 4. Assistance in planning. 5. Helps in improving performance, kinds of business. A business entity is an organization that uses economic resources to provide goods or services to customers in exchange for money or other goods and services. Business organizations come in different types. 1. Service business. 2. Merchandising business. 3. Manufacturing business. 4. Hybrid business. Service business. A service type of business provides intangible products, products with no physical form. Service type firms offer professional skills, expertise, advice, and other similar products. Examples of service businesses are salons, repair shops, schools, banks, accounting firms, and law firms. The second type of business is merchandising business. This type of business buys products at wholesale prices and sells the same at retail prices. They are known as buy and sell businesses. They make a profit by selling the products at prices higher than their purchase costs. A merchandising business sells a product without changing its form. Examples are grocery stores, convenience stores, distributors, and other resellers. The third type of business is manufacturing business. Unlike a merchandising business, a manufacturing business buys products with the intention of using them as materials and making a new product. Thus, there is a transformation of the products purchased. A manufacturing business combines raw materials, labor, and overhead costs in its production process. The manufactured goods will then be sold to customers. The fourth type of business is hybrid business. Hybrid businesses are companies that may be classified in more than one type of business. A restaurant, for example, combines ingredients in making a fine meal, manufacturing, sells a cold bottle of wine, merchandising, and fills customer orders, service. So those are the types of businesses. Service business, merchandising, manufacturing, and hybrid business. For more information, you may visit the links below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.